Hello everybody and welcome back to No Man's Land. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a, a talking headpiece, except you're not gonna see my head talking. We're gonna talk about mods, mod authors, and a real serious problem that we have in Farming Simulator 22 around modders and mods. And that is that we are seeing a very, very dangerous trend starting to happen with respect to Farm Sim 22. And that is a massive unauthorized mod conversion and a massive unauthorized mod rehosting more than ever before. And it's always kind of been bad for as long as I've been involved in farm sim. Let me give you a few examples. So, a really good mapper, friend of mine, who makes PC-based maps, he always releases his maps over at simplysafemods.com. Really a great website for you to go check out. Guarantee that you can download mods over there with no banner ads, no pop-up ads, no pop-under ads, no trickery on trying to get you to click on things. Any anyway, rate, a few weeks after Farm Sim 22 came out, and I knew that he wasn't working on any maps at this point, a few weeks after Farm Sim 22 came out, I discovered one of his Farm Sim 19 maps over on a mod website. And he was credited as the, uh, you know, the, the person who put the map, or seemed to have put the map over on that website. And I let him know this. I'm like, uh, I think you've got a problem here. Indeed, he did have a problem because he did not put that over there. Someone, possibly someone who was super eager and wanted other people to be able to play this particular map in Farm Sim 22 did a very hasty conversion and just uploaded it as if it was a valid and working map in Farm Sim 22. Problem is, it had the original author's name all over it. People were downloading the map, they were finding that it didn't work, and it was literally almost a smear campaign on the original mapper's name because they see this guy's name. They know that they enjoyed the map in 22 or they heard good things about the map in 22. They wanted to play it in, in or in 19. They wanted to play it in 22 and they found the map completely unplayable. Well, he finally was able to get the mod or the map removed. But he shouldn't have never had to have done that because the person who made the conversion should never have made the conversion in the first place. But were they were they super eager and wanted to to get the map converted and they didn't want to have their name out there because they never put their name on on the map conversion. Were they looking for a quick payday? And I think they were because the particular website that they had uploaded it to has been known to pay mod submitters per download for the submissions that they send in. Now, thankfully I believe this particular individual didn't get paid for any of the downloads for this particular bad conversion because ultimately the real owner of the map came forward and got it all corrected, got the download taken down. But what happens is now, and I've had this said to me, is modders feel as if they're in a race to convert their own mods before other people attempt to convert them and oftentimes do a rather poor job at it, which in the end only goes to kind of sour the name of the original mod author. So we've got a big mod problem in Farm Sim 
22. And part of it is players' seemingly unsatisfiable appetite for mods. Another part of the problem, in my opinion, is square on giants themselves. No doubt that there are modders who feel that they have been alienated by attempting to submit mods to the Giants Mod Hub and have been frustrated with the overall experience, the overall communication issues, especially on the American side. American modders feel that there is a pretty serious communication divide between the Giants Mod Hub QA team and the mods modders themselves and not really understanding why something isn't passing, what the problem is. Also, I know modders often get frustrated with seemingly the rules being changed out from underneath of them. Something that would have passed or did pass weeks or months ago, suddenly when the modder submits an update to add a feature or fix an issue that's found, that mod suddenly is, is not worthy anymore because of some new rule or a new change in the, uh, in the procedures. And oftentimes it seems that that change in procedures isn't so well documented. So I get it that there's frustrations. And I know there's people that have basically washed their hands of the Giants Mod Hub and said, never again. I'm going to go my own and release my mods on my Facebook page, release my mods over at simplysafemods.com, release my mods over on an itch.io page that I have created or a website that I've built, whatever. But that is also part of our overall mod problem, and that is kind of the wild, wild west of mod releases, right? You could spend literally all day looking through Facebook, finding modders, finding mods that they are releasing on Facebook, and trying to keep up with things that are being posted over on Facebook. It could be literally a full-time job trying to keep track of all those things. So what happens? Well, the mod rehosters happen. Why do we even have thousands upon thousands of farming simulator 22 mod websites? Because of the wild, wild west, the great mod kind of disparity, well, not disparity, the great mod divide, I could say, between mappers, modders, and players. So these sites come in and they fill a gap that honestly shouldn't exist, but they fill a gap that does exist. And that gap is to provide a single place where a player can find a multitude of mods for Farming Simulator 22. Well, the downside of this is that oftentimes those mods are not the original mod author's links. And why does that matter? Well, we want to try to download from the original modder's links because for a few reasons. First, it helps assure that we are getting the absolute latest version of a particular mod. So if I release a mod and I post it over, let's say I, I get it up on the Giants mod. Well, within minutes of that mod being posted on the Giants mod hub, bots have found it, bots have downloaded it, Bots have scraped the description and bots have posted it to 
any number of possible mod rehosting sites. And every mod rehosting site, guess what? They have their own bots. And all of those bots scour every other mod rehosting website. And basically within an hour, that mod that was just posted over the Giants mod hub is now hosted on literally thousands of mod websites across the world. Well, that sounds like great. You're just, you're just expanding the reach. But the problem is when those mods are not kept up to date. So let's say I find a problem with my mod or update the mod and add more features. The issue happens in that maybe, quite maybe, those bots don't recognize that the mod's been updated. They don't download the new version. The new version doesn't get put out there. Or maybe it does and they never get rid of the old version either. So now I've got a new version and an old version out there. Who knows what's being downloaded and attempted to be used by other people. People are downloading the wrong mod. We're getting a bad version. It makes me look bad as a modder. And people don't realize that, hey, there's an updated version. It's got all those issues fixed. And maybe that has been fixed for months. But because these hosters exist, for the reason of being able to easily find mods, that's why these people go to these sites, is because they want to have one-stop shopping for mods, then they run into those issues. Maybe, maybe the website also has a way for you to... Um, provide a comment so maybe you downloaded the mod and you're providing a comment and the comment is hey I've got a question I think your mods awesome but I have this problem and again maybe it's it's an old version well I as the mod author aren't aware of the tens of thousands of places that my mod now exists I don't have the resources to keep track of those places and monitor those places so who knows how many people are not getting the feedback they deserve because they're downloading them from these other websites how do you the player know if you're getting a mod from the right source right how do you know it's, it's real difficult well the reason for this video is there is a new Discord that has been created called Farm Simulator Mods and Links. And the Discord is only a few weeks old at this point. And it already has nearly a thousand members. And its members consist of players like you, modders, mappers, content creators like myself, basically all like-minded individuals who wish to give the modders the credit they deserve and to download from the original modders links. So what this Discord does is modders and mappers have permissions to post their links to a myriad of channel categories around their mods players can peruse those categories and discover mods to download and will know that they are downloading from the official download location which means that they know that they're going to be downloading the latest version of those mods they know now how to get in contact with the mod author through the official download location to provide feedback on those mods and overall everyone in the end will have a much more enjoyable experience there's also channels on that discord to reference other quality mod sites like 
Simply Safe mods that I have mentioned before. LSFarmingMods.com, a very good website to get very quality mods for Farming Simulator 17, 19, and now 22. So I highly recommend you go check that out. If you're not in Discord, go ahead and sign up for Discord. We've got our own Discord, the Farmer Client Discord, and then, like I said, Farm Simulator Mods and Links Discord. But ultimately, it's extremely important to download from the original author's links. Be that from the Giants Mod Hub, be that from a site like simplysafemods.com, be that from the mod author's Facebook page, itch.io page, or some other custom website that they have set up because it allows you to then be able to communicate directly with the modder, understand if you are working with the latest version. If you run into issues with the mod, you can reach out for support from fellow players that are using that mod or the mod author themselves. And in the end, you're gonna end up encouraging the mod author to potentially create even more great things with their time. Because remember, these guys are often, they're creating these things on their own time. They're creating these as a labor of love, if you will. Giants Terms of Service says you are not allowed to charge money for items that you create with the Giants editor. Okay? So these people, they can't charge you for, for their mods without violating the Giants Terms of Service. So they're doing this as a labor of love because they enjoy Farming Simulator. They want to create things for Farming Simulator and they want to share those creations with you, the player. So the least thing, least that we could do is to be respectful and try to obtain the things that they are sharing from the places that they are originally sharing them from. And Farm Simulator Mods and Links, I commend them on their effort. They are attempting to help bridge that gap between modder, mapper, and PC farming simulator player. So I want to close out the video with a few kind of litmus tests that I have thought about and come up with with respect to how do you know if you're downloading a mod from an original link? Because it can be very, very difficult to know. First off, try to be as aware as possible with the mods that are released over at the Giants Mod Hub. Check daily, Monday through Friday. See what mods exist over at the Giants website. Because quite frankly, that is typically the de facto place that modders are going to, in general, want to submit their mods to because that's the only place that mods are going to be available for download from console players. So just be aware of the mods that are over there on the website. And then as you're perusing, looking for mods out there on the internet, you're going to find websites that no doubtably have all of the mods that are also on the Giants website listed. Well, look at the download link and see. If I click download, am I going to the farming simulator website? Or am I downloading from a random file downloader site? If you're downloading from a random file downloader site, I would not personally trust that website at all because they have mirrored the entire Giants mod hub. They've changed the links. So now they're directing you to download from their links they are literally taking money from the content creator that made that mod 
the modder. I'm going to use content creator and modder kind of interchangeably at this point. And as such, in my opinion, they're thieves because they are profiting from other people's work. So as such, you can't really trust that other links on those sites are also going to be valid. Other tests would be, does the website list who uploaded the mod? Or does it just have pictures, a title, and a description? Now in the description it might have credits of who made the mod, but does the site tell you who uploaded it? Who put the mod there? If the site's not willing to tell you who put the mod there, maybe they have something to hide. If the site is hosting the Farming Simulator website mods, and they're not telling you who uploaded the mods, well, they really have something to hide now, don't they? The other thing would be is if you are aware of a modder and you know that they typically have been known to release mods at XYZ location. But now you're finding their mods are over at ABC location. It seems kind of odd that they've always released their stuff over at XYZ. Why are they now releasing them over here at ABC? Probably because they're not. So when in doubt, don't download. Try to find the original modder source. Google the name of the mod, Google the author of the mod, and look at how old the links are, and try to find the oldest link that Google has for that particular mod. It might possibly be the original location. Or, go check out Farm Simulator Mods and Links, because you know what? They just might have the original link listed in their categories. So guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on these mod rehosters? What are your thoughts with respect to downloading from original links versus downloading from any darn place you should darn well want to because darn it, you have every right to download every mod that ever exists because you're a, a player and and as such you should get everything and i hope really honestly you don't have that opinion because that opinion is very dangerous in my opinion because it could lead to the to the leaving of many quality modders at speeds faster than new modders can fill the gap so until next time, happy farming.